There is a lot of news trending this week in the medical world. So doctor and CEO of Community Health TV, Corey Bear, is here to break down what's hot in health. I obviously want to get to the Zika virus, but before that, I'd love to have you weigh in on this whole uh, story we were talking about before about the barista who denied a cup of coffee to a pregnant woman. Was that out of line? That's a, no a non-story. <laughs> Women have enough pressure, especially mothers, have enough pressure on them by society to not do so many things. Have your coffee. It's have good. your coffee. Yeah. Have it. No guilt. Okay, no so guilt. there's no connection with coffee and any kind of problems in pregnancy. Well, if you drink 100 cups of coffee in a day, that's bad. Okay, okay. but anyway. you can have a cup of but, but really, if you have, you know, one cup of coffee, I don't want anyone to feel guilty about that because you have to think about if you're upset because you had that cup of coffee, that negative energy is, is going to your baby. Yeah. And that's what we want. Happy pregnant moms, not Aww. stressed out. Okay, very good. That's what we want. Right on. That's what we want. <laughs> All right, let's start now with the Zika virus. The World Health Organization has declared this a public health emergency of international concern. They estimate at least... Three million people will contract this virus just in the Western Hemisphere. Yes. Apparently, ground zero this time was Brazil, mm -hmm. uh, but it is obviously now spread to over 20 countries. So break it down for us. What is this virus, and how concerned should we be here in the United States? Well, I'm a pretty moderate fellow, I have to say. But this one makes me a little nervous. Why? Really? Because, the, you know, like, say, Ebola, right? You could, if, if someone got Ebola, what would happen? You could contain them, contain the virus, because it was spread from person to person, basically. What happens with this is that it's spread by mosquitoes. You can't kill all the mosquitoes. You just can't, so it goes from mosquito to person. It's like a mosquito is a hypodermic needle injecting everyone with the Zika virus, and that's a problem. It's a virus that's been around for decades. It's nothing new, but the issue became that in, in Brazil, all of a sudden, we started seeing all these babies that are born with microcephaly, which is a small brain, which is irreversible brain damage, and the problem is that you don't know until the baby comes out, basically, that the baby's going to have a small brain. And so that's the I thought you issue. could test for that in utero. Well, the, the problem is it's, it's almost too late by the time the you to help the baby. Is, is there you anything see? you could do to help the baby? If you already... How do you... First of all, what are the symptoms of the uh, Zika virus? Okay, the symptoms of the Zika virus yeah. are very mild. Nausea, vomiting, headache. Like the flu? So, exactly. Yeah. Conjunctivitis, which is pink eye. Wow. But also, you know, it, we've seen that tinnitus or ringing in the ears, um, loss of balance, those types of things. But that's a it's also on. sexually transmitted now, they're saying. Yeah, so right, in so in, 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 in Texas, <laughs> yeah. there was a case of a man that traveled abroad, came back, had sex with his partner, and uh, the partner became positive. And so the issue is with this, we don't think that that's the biggest thing because we don't know if it lives longer in blood or in semen because a lot of the people that have had this transmission had blood in their semen. Let's make it more confusing. But right? if you're not pregnant, is there any risk to getting this? If you're, no, it's not, not really. I mean, there's some really odd things you can get, like this loss of balance, the ringing in the ears. Can I ask a question? Sure. Okay. Um, first of all, what about somebody that's thinking about getting pregnant or in the process of trying to get pregnant? How does that affect that? I will tell you, I have a 14-month-old daughter. And if she were 25 to 28 years old and she was thinking about, you know, getting uh, pregnant after she's married, I have to be very clear about that. Uh, um, yeah, because I'm, I'm a dad. So um, I would not let her go to these countries. Really? I would not. But would you Hands go down. as far as El Salvador, which is saying they're recommending very strongly that no woman in El Salvador who is of childbearing age yeah, get pregnant herself? for the next two years yeah. because they figure fast, fast track would have a vaccine in two years. If, right. if then. If, if then. I want to be very clear with but you. But do you agree with what El Salvador is recommending? I would say that it is a risk-benefit ratio, just like making sure that you take all your uh, prenatal vitamins yeah. before you have a baby. So a lot of people don't take the prenatal vitamins, le prenatal vitamins leading up until their pregnancy. So, you know, it's a risk-benefit ratio. Would I go as far as two years? Probably not, but I would have to say that's based on the country but because you if you have like until, you said up until age 28, I mean we're over 28, so is this just a crap shoot for us anyway? Right, we yeah. having a baby. <laughs> it's like don't worry about yeah, them old babies. Any woman who's interested, woman in, getting in, interested in getting pregnant or thinking about getting pregnant. pregnant. I, have, I have an important question. Though. You don't been pregnant though. No, I, no, okay. no, no, no. <laughs> but what if you are? newly pregnant, like a couple months, you get infected by the virus, is there a vaccine or is there medication or something to help prevent this baby from contracting the, I don't know how to pronounce yeah, the... Yeah, yeah, no, no, nothing, no, there's no. Nothing no. Nothing there, so there is really no way... But we're in 20 control. countries now, plus right. Brazil. Um, I'm one of the 500,000 heading to the Olympics, yeah, the Olympics in a sure. few months, I think. 
Um, I, I'm not so sure now, but I yes. mean, and all those people will then go back to their respective countries, oh, yes. and a certain percentage will be infected, yes, th without this, a doubt, this, and then the, they'll start it in their country. The fact that this is happening in Brazil, with the Olympics happening in Brazil, is the worst, worst. possible situation. It's, it, 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 it's, go, it's really, it's really a bad And those situation. athletes aren't going to wear the long, they say wear no. long pants stuffed into your shoes and the long sleeve shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, 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 what, 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 athletes, all those females. Exactly. Yeah. And when I'm running hurdles, that'll be really cool right. to look Right, all right. that. So yeah. what do we do then? Yeah. There, there, there's all you can do is to, and, and this is for people in their homes, make sure that you have no standing water around your house because that's where mosquitoes breed. Like you a have, pool? Like, well, well, no, well, no. The pool, the pool is, <laughs> is circulating. But okay. The pool circulating. Okay. I want, I mean, like, like a stagnant like water. Stagnant yeah. water. Yeah. There's stagnant water. Um, and, and also make sure that you wear your mosquito repellents, even though none of them are very good. And the higher the concentration of DEET, the more uh, toxic the DEET is to your skin and to your body. So. Okay. Pregnant women. Exactly. And do we have a test right now to determine in this country whether we are carrying the virus? You, you do. We do have a test, but it's really kind of only done in government agencies and very small state agencies around the country. So it's not commercially available. So once again, it's like, what are doctors doing out there? Make, make this happen. Well, we, we're trying. We are trying. Um, but this is something that, that we don't have our arms wrapped around yet so much. And, and But we're out there fighting. So awareness is all we can do right Certainly now. Certainly this yeah. is not a story that's going away anytime soon. No, sure. it is Thank not. you.